Okay, so now let's talk about cloud integration. So when we have multiple applications, at some point they will have to communicate with one another. And there are two types of patterns to make applications communicate. The first one is easy to understand. It's called a synchronous communication in which an application talks to another application. For example, you have created a service to buy something and then you need to talk to a service that ships what has been bought. And so therefore you want to integrate the buying service and the shipping service synchronously because they talk directly to one another. That's the first way, but there's a second way, which is called asynchronous or event-based. For example, when we have a queue to talk to. So let's have an example. Our buying service this time, anytime something is bought, will put an order in a queue. And the shipping service will be reading from the queue to get the orders. As you can see in this example, your buying service and your shipping service are not directly integrated with one another. They are something called decoupled because there is a queue in between to talk to. And this allows us to get some nice integration patterns. So if we get synchronous communication between an application and another one, it could be a problem. For example, what if you have a sudden spike of traffic? What if you need to encode 1000 videos, but usually it's 10. In this case, the service you are talking to may get overwhelmed and you may get an issue to encode these 1000 videos and things may fail. In that case, it's a lot better to decouple your applications and to use something like SQS, which is a queue model, or SNS, which is a pub sub model, or Kinesis, which is used for real time data streaming, which is out of scope for the certified cloud practitioner exam. Now these services, once they're decoupled, they can scale independently for our applications. And so this is great. So in this section, we're going to have a deeper look at SQS and SNS. So I hope you like this and I will see you in the next lecture.